And the pandemic has caused chaos for businesses everywhere, especially the convention industry. And look no further than the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center right here downtown, which has been closed now for a year and a half. To get a better idea of just how important this venue is for the city, I'm told it's normally booked more than 270 days a year and usually generates about $43 million annually. But now the facility is getting ready for a comeback. The reopening now just weeks away and with it comes a lot of excitement. From weddings to galas to the world's largest disco, the events held at the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center provide a big boost for downtown Buffalo. It's big business. It's a job creator, economic generator, uh, lots of uh, hotel rooms that are generated by the convention center. In fact, according to Visit Buffalo Niagara, from 2014 to 2019, the convention center hosted an average of 149 events a year, generating more than $40 million in economic impact annually. That's in a normal year, but in March of 2020, the pandemic forced the convention center to close. It's been dark ever since. Having the convention center offline for almost two years now, it's pretty devastating to our overall tourism economy. We probably are down about $86 million. And that loss of revenue is having a direct impact on hotels and restaurants nearby. We estimate it to be about 20 to 25 percent of our pre-pandemic business. Obviously, it's zero percent of our current business. Nick Patillo is the owner of Osteria 166, which sits just down the block from the convention center. And we used to be open pre-pandemic 11 meal periods and we're open five now you know one lunch instead of five lunches it's just the, the demand's not there and Patillo says the lack of events at the convention center play a direct role the local stuff the um, you know the car shows and the home shows and the you know the insurance days and things of that nature are just huge impacts on our business but work is being done to help Erie County is investing around 1.5 million dollars to upgrade the 19 year old floor wall finishes and electrical in the main lobby of the convention center all with an eye of finally reopening the venue on October 10th. It's going to be a slow start for the rest of the year. Uh, many conventions for the most part have canceled or moved into uh, future years. And it may take years to get fully back on track. Tourism Economics, an industry leader in tourism research, estimates that meetings and conventions will not return to 2019 levels until 2024. Still, Kaler remains optimistic in the convention industry in Buffalo. We have a great story right now, too, with the work that's being done in the convention center, with the Hyatt coming back online, with new management, the dollars that they're going to be putting into that property, even the Statler Hotel and the uh, work that's being done there right across from the convention center. That's very important for people to recognize what's taking place. Kaler expects 2022 to be a bounce back year with 113 events already scheduled with an expected economic impact of $30 million. We've generated over 200 leads just this year alone. That will generate about uh, 95,000 uh, room nights. Now, those aren't definite bookings at this point, but that just shows the interest that there is in Buffalo to bring business back. We're in the heart of downtown, man. So, you know, we need we need to get back to normal as quickly as possible. So what does the future hold for the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center? County leaders unveiled a $440 million plan early last year to build a new one along Delaware Avenue. I asked the county this week about those plans to replace the current facility, which by the way is the oldest operating facility in the United States. The county tells me all potential plans for a new convention center at this point are on hold because of course of the pandemic.